Hi there, this is Jacob Nash, Engineering Lessons. This is Unit 2.1, Lesson 1. Um, I actually made this video like two months after the other ones, and I'm talking quiet because it's like, it's 11.20 at night, um, and I just had to make this video now. And I'm kind of annoyed because the reason why I'm redoing it is because it, originally it had no sound, and then I just recorded it again with no sound. For a second time, so this is the third time I've made it, so it's starting to get a little old. But it's on beam deflection um, in our statics unit. So a force can be put on beams, and beam deflection shows how much it will bend. And pretty much the um, smaller beam deflection, the better, because it might break if it becomes too much force on there. So there's an equation we can use to find beam deflection, and that's this one. Delta max equals FL to the third divided by 48 EI. So delta max basically just means change in um, the maximum. It, it just means beam deflection, basically, that. And it's in measure, measured in inches. Um, and then F is force, pounds of force. And then L is length in inches or feet. You might have to convert. And then E is modulus of elasticity. So how much can it bend? What What's the elasticity of it and that's in psi which is pounds per square inch but also can be you might see it as lb over inches squared sometimes that happens too and i is moment of inertia but you'll have to solve for that so force will be given length will be given modulus of elasticity will be given but you'll have to find I and which is moment of inertia and you also have to find beam deflection in problems. Here's the equation to find I before you can find beam deflection. So basically a beam if we're looking at it this way this is just like the edge of it if it goes out like that. This is the height this is the base so that's what B and H represent here and here. So, let's say we had a base of one inch and a height of five inches. That's not the scale, obviously. Um, now, if the beam is vertical, then the longer side's gonna be the height, but if it's horizontal, the longer side's gonna be the um, base. So let's plug that in to see what we get. When we plug that in, we get 10.4 inches. That's um, moment of inertia. Now we can solve, well, we also need to have values for these things. Then we can solve for beam deflection. So let's say we had a force of 170 pounds, a length of five, well, five feet. In that case, we would need to convert inches, 60 inches, and then um, modulus of elasticity, let's say that's 419,000 psi, and then moment of inertia we just said, so now we can plug it in, okay, so 170 times 60 to the third power, Oh, I forgot the 48. You need 48 times 419K. We'll just say that so we don't have to write it all. And then 10.4. Let's do that in the calculator. Well, I don't have my um, 
typical calculator, so it will take a little longer because I have to plug that into the um, computer calculator. Okay. Um. Let's see, so 60, 60, we have to do 60 to the third power first. 21,000, or sorry, 216,000. Um, and then we'll do that times 170. We get, we get uh, 36 million, 720,000. And then on the bottom, we do 48, times 419,000 times 10.4. Then we get 209,164,800. Now let's do uh, 36,727,000, or sorry, 720,000 divided by 209,000,000. One sixty four thousand eight hundred. And we get a pretty small number, but it's um zero point one eight inches. That's the units for that. So that's it for this video. That's how you solve for bang deflection. Um I might do um a unit two point two um, lessons videos, even though I said 4.2 was going to be the last one, I still might do that. Uh, that's like recycling and things like that. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.